If you work here, you need to get a uniform. I don't work here. So, am I supposed to know you? Not really. Uh, although you did try to put the moves on my, uh, on my son's mom. Oh, if you're talking about Karen, because I, I didn't even know she Karen, had a kid. no. Gigi Marasco. Sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. Well, I'll tell you this, you're certainly living up to your reputation. In case you're wondering what that is, it's not very good. But that's not why I'm here. I'd like to know if this belongs to you. Uh, not unless there's money in it. Why don't you think it's mine? Your last name is Ford. And Chris and Layla told me you're from Ohio. So? This was in the case. I'm thinking since the business is in Ohio, maybe there's some sort of connection. Ford's Body Shop. Is that Rainy Bells? Star, come on, you can do it. Come on, hey, hey, you remember me? Twinkle? Don't call me that. Oh my god, I need to ever turn you around. How you doing? You okay? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna move something. Come on, wiggle your toes, you know, your fingers, something. Wait, how did this happen? How did we get off road? You don't remember? I wouldn't be asking you if I did. Well, you thought you saw an animal and then you grabbed the wheel. Oh, right, an animal ran in the room. I mean, did you see it? Barely. What was it, like a little chipmunk or something? What, you don't break for animals? Not one smaller than my fist. It's still a living thing. Yeah, well, so's the spider, but you don't stop the car every time a spider's crossing the street. Otherwise, you end up in a ditch with a wrecked car. So you're saying that you would have smushed it if I didn't grab the wheel? It's better than smushing you. Hey, where are you going? You can't just leave me like... So the Ford on that car, did he have anything to do with you? He has nothing to do with me, but he's my dad. Um, <clears throat> where'd you find that case? Well, I was at the quarry. You think your dad left it there? Whoever ditched that case is not my father. No way is he anywhere around here. So where is he? Is he alive? Unfortunately. Why, unfortunately? Because my father's only goal in life is to make everyone around him miserable. Even you? All you need to know is that I have nothing to do with my father. I took off a long time ago and I never looked back. And you have no idea why his car might have ended up in that case. Bobby, it's me, bro. No, no idea. Are you seriously blaming this on me? I mean, it was barely even an accident. Look, there are no scratches or dents on this thing, nothing. Would you just get out from under there and check out how lucky we got? Lucky? No, I don't think so, Twinkle. What are you talking about? I can practically check out every inch of this thing. It looks fine. Not the axle. Well... What's wrong with the axle? It's cracked in two. What does that mean? It means the car is useless. It's total. So it's not worth 50 grand? It's not worth 50 bucks, which makes it kind of difficult to tell my buddy Bull to cash it in. One Life to Live will continue in a moment here on ABC. So your father didn't stash this case. You have no idea who did or whether they might want it back. Why would anyone want it back if the only thing in it was a business card? I mean, these things aren't cheap. Well, if whoever owns that case is connected to my dad, I don't want any part of it. So you don't mind if I hold on to it? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Keep the card. Well, what are we going to do now? Star. There's no we, okay? You've done enough. You were ready to give up your car so I could pay back Bull. 
Yeah, but now he's expecting this tomorrow, and he's not going to get it. Because I wrecked it. Hey, no, you didn't wreck it. I'm the one that grabbed the wheel. <sighs> Star, listen to me. This is not your fault, okay? I let this become your problem, and I never should have done that. Oh, well, what's done is done. Not if I go to plan B. I think we passed plan B a couple plans ago. Okay, fine. Plan D, then. All right, whatever it is, tell me. Okay, so the plan is to meet Bull like we originally planned. But if we don't have the car, then what good is that going to do? I'm going to work off the money, okay? How? I'll go back to Ohio with Bull, and I'll start stealing cars again for my dad's chop shop. Talk to you or not? You can't go back home to your dad. Why not? He beats you. So there are worse things. What, like working for a criminal? Or, or breaking the law? Or at risk your life in jail? That's probably the worst thing, and you got away from all of that. You can't stop now. I know, all right? But I went about it all wrong. First, by stealing that money. The biggest mistake that I made was getting you involved in this. Sorry, and I'm, I am so sorry for that. That's over with, okay? No, not okay. Look, you've been great. A major pain in the ass, but, but you've been great. And you've been through enough, and all I want now is for you to be safe. So just let me do what I've got to do, okay? Is going back to Ohio really the only way? Yeah, this is our last night together. This time tomorrow, I'll be back where my dad wants me. And you'll be back home safe with your family. Hello? I called before. I saw. I didn't answer. Why'd you change your mind? Because I needed to tell you never to call me again. I have something that you need to know, Langston, and it's really I important. I want to hear it. You don't exist to me. Grandma, it's Star. I'm, I'm fine. I'll be home by tomorrow, but I just wanted to call so I could say goodnight to Hope. Okay, can you put her on the phone? Thanks. Hey. Maybe by tomorrow you'll think of something better than going home. I don't think there's any other way. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Oh, Mommy misses you so much, but I will see you tomorrow, okay? I just wanted to call and and say goodnight and sing you a little something. It's a night full of dreams and wishes to come true. There's a sky full of stars. But only one like you And it takes years And it takes time For the light to reach the earth and shine But look at you Here you are Burning bright My little star times along the way you've become so I wish with all my might all your dreams come true tonight okay help good night I miss you so much and I love you to the moon and back. <laughs>